Hi everyone. We are going to use this t-score table to find a t-value for confidence interval problem. You may not use the same table we have right here, but after you finish watching our video, you should understand how to use your own table to find t-value by yourself. If you like this table, we provide the link for you to download. It's a PDF file. In order to find the t-value by using the table, the first thing you have to understand is called df. df is on the left side, column. You're going to see here df. So df means degrees of freedom. So degree of degrees of freedom is going to get from the sample size. Let's say if we have 31 samples, the degree of degrees of freedom will be n minus 1, which is 31 minus 1 equals to 30. So first we have to locate the 30 from our table. So 30 is right here. After we find it 30, we will have to check what's the confidence level we have. So the let's say we have a confidence level 99% confidence. In order to find 99% confidence, you're gonna look down this table to find the confidence level, which is 99. So we have 30 all the way to 99%. So the T value is 2.75. Let's look at our second example. We give n equals to 10. Confidence level is 98%. If you understand the problem, if this is a t-test problem, we will continue use the t-table right here. So continue use the t-table. First, we have to find degrees of freedom, which is 10 minus 1 equals to 9. And we're going to find a 9 on the left side. Then we're going to look for 90. 8%, 98% is done right here. So we're gonna go up all the way up to here. And the 8 from the left side. So that is our T score. And the T score here equals to 2.821. The last thing I want to discuss about the table right here is. Remember, we have confidence level right here on the bottom of the table. And this gives you the Z score for different confidence levels. Remember, we discussed the three of them before, 90%, 95%, 99%. So this table also gave you the number right here. Those are the Z scores for the different levels. If you forget, you can check this table and to find out the numbers we have. Thank you.